my YouTube friends. I am so excited because one of my favorite utilities has been updated. It has a new version. And of course, if you're a live streamer, you know that voice changers can make a big difference in the way that you interact with your audience. And voice mod has been updated. There is a version three out now, and I want to show it to you today. Stop or be terminated. Hey now, I see you there. You can take it to the dark side if you want. You can do so much with it and have so much fun. I think you're going to love it. And by the way, you can check it out for free. So you know what? Let's get to it. Now, everything I'm going to show you today does have a link down below in the description. And like I said, you can download it and check it out totally free. So why not do that? Hold on a second. I just got to show you this little tool here. You're not even going to believe what this is. Dude, is that some kind of alien technology? Maybe, but you can actually buy this. This is the voice mod key and it allows you to use all of the stuff I'm going to show you in this video anywhere. And that means on PlayStation, Xbox, or Switch. I mean, how freaking awesome is that? And it works in conjunction with an incredibly improved voice mod app. This thing is unbelievable. There is a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Now let me show you how voice mod on the computer works. Now I'm not going to waste your time poking around. We're going to get right into the app and I'm going to show you how it works, all the new features and the cool things you can do with it. So let's do it. Now here is the page and of course there is a link in the description so you can jump right in there and all you have to do is go and download it for free and this is going to give you version 3. Once you download it, it's really simple. You just go into your downloads and you double click on the installer and it's going to install on your system. Now if you have voice mod open version 2 or something like that, it doesn't even care. It's just going to put version 3 on there. In fact, you can have both version 2 and version 3 on your system at the same time. You can see I do. I have voice mod right here and I have version 3 right here. So you don't even have to worry that somehow magically you're going to lose version 2. There is absolutely nothing stopping you from checking this out to see how cool it is. But once it's installed, all you have to do is double click on it. If you do not have a login, you'll have to create one. Or you can just link it to your Google account, which is what I did. And once you're done, it brings you right in here. Now, when you first log in, it's actually going to ask you to set up your audio stuff as well. So it's going to ask you what mic you're going to use and how you want to listen to your stuff. For live streams, you're definitely going to want to use headphones so that you can hear it, but it's not going to be feeding back into your audio system, i.e. your microphone on your live streams. That causes a lot of feedback and it is a serious issue. So make sure that you you set it up with headphones. In order to do that, you just go into settings, you put your microphone in here and your headphones in here. You're all set. You can see it's going to show you the levels and you can adjust it. This is the sweet spot right here, obviously. And sometimes I'm a bit too loud, which <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys already know. Now, if we go over here, we can check out mixer mode. This allows us to adjust for voices and sounds, have different volumes for voices and sounds. We can adjust the volume on our headphone and the volume on our voice mod microphone, which is what we're going to load into OBS later on. And of course, we can also adjust our microphone audio. So this gives us access to everything that we need. If we go into advanced settings, you can see here that it does have background noise reduction and of course, a noise gate so that if you have a lot of noise in your background you can adjust this up or down. I actually do have a lot of noise in my background but I find that just the standard setting works pretty good for me. Now in general we can set it up to start up at launch. I don't usually like to do that. It could start minimized which means it'll start right here in your system tray but of course Mac is a little different so just so you know it is available for Mac and you know you may not uh, if it starts minimized it might go into the tray up top. Um, you can actually have a system notifications turned on so it'll tell you if something's weird or goofy and of course set the voice mod microphone as the default then we go into keybinds this is how you can keybind it to your keyboard to bring voice mod to the front or change overlays or turn on effects or whatever so you could turn hearing yourself on or off you can turn the voice modulation on or off and that's kind of what i use these 
Keybinds 4. I'll put them either in my stream deck or I'll put them on my keyboard so I can turn a voice on or off. Now you've got overlays here so you can show an overlay on the screen, which is pretty cool. It allows you to basically see on screen what voice is active or whether the actual thing is active or not. You can see it up here in the top left hand corner. And the last thing that we have is the controller, which you can scan the QR code and put it on your phone. It will connect to your computer and allow you to change voices just with little icons on your phone. Very, very cool stuff. So that is everything you're going to find in settings. Now, if we go to discover here, you can see there are hundreds and hundreds of voices. I do have the paid version and I'm sure that these are stripped down and probably rotate on the free version, but it doesn't mean that you can't check them out. And we'll go through and give you the opportunity to hear some of these voices in a minute. I just wanna walk you through to show you how it works. We go into voices, this is the ones that are created by Voice Mod, but there are thousands of voices that are created by the community as well. You can select there. And of course you have all these little things over here on the side that you can narrow down exactly what you're searching for. When you select a voice, you can go over here and add a key bind, which means you can use your keyboard to change from one voice to another and things like that. If you hover over a voice, you can also heart it, which will put it in your favorites. So it makes it really easy to find later or you can add it to your soundboard. Which brings us up here to sounds. There are hundreds of different sounds that you can use. This is the community one. Voice Mod has a bunch of their own. You can use these to populate your soundboard or just to play on your live stream, which brings us to soundboards where you can find collections of sounds that you can use for your live streams. And when you first come into voice mod version 3 it actually has my first soundboard which gives you an idea of how to create one you you can see that it loads up a couple here but you can click this plus to create your own soundboard and then you can go into here and go to sounds and populate your soundboard however you want. And of course, all of the sounds that are in the soundboard, you can set up with hotkeys and that sort of stuff right there. So you could play these anytime on your live stream. And you can see here that it actually has some little options here. You could stop other sounds when you play this one, mute other sounds, or even mute the voice. So this is an incredibly cool soundboard tool. I absolutely love it. It makes creating a soundboard super, super easy. Now here we have favorites, so anything that you might hover over in here, if we go into voices and let's just go ahead and heart that, and anything we do like that is going to put it in our favorites, make it really, really easy to find. Uh, right here we have Voice Lab, and this allows you to create voices from scratch. So we can click on here. Now we can select a bunch of stuff from these menus down here to modify our voice. So if we go into Iconics and we just select something, this is going to add a voice in there. If you don't like it, you can unselect it and add another one. There we go. So you just come up here, you can adjust the mix for this element, and we can remove it. We can also edit the effect right here. So we have tone or vibes. So we'll add Giga Chad in there. Let's go here. You can add a device that will modify his voice. So we can add a toy microphone, and it's the same thing. We can adjust the mix. So it's very little. Or it's all the way. And then we can go and adjust the effect as well. So we go to power pitch. And we can make it super high. Hello. There we go. We can make it super low. Yeah, robot play. Robot down. Custom. And then we go over here. Customize it. The pitch. All that stuff. Or remove it. We go here to backgrounds. This will add background noise into your effect. So there we go. Now it's raining. Go to spaces, and this will add a big cave, canyon, echo, auditorium. There we go. Yeah. And of course, you can adjust the mix. Very nice. We can add FX. So if we want to add power pitch, or something. There we go. Another AI. Included, so it replaced our end of original voice.
Now, once we're finished, we can go up here and click share and save, or we could drop this down and just save the voice. And we can change the name of the voice right here. Now here we can select a random voice. And it'll just give us whatever it creates. And we can re-randomize it right here. Boom. So there we get another one. So random voice works pretty cool. Then we've got prompt to voice. This isn't working yet, but eventually what you'll be able to do is put in a prompt for what you want and it'll go ahead and create that exact voice for you. Really, really cool. I'm excited for this to come online and see what it's all about. So I guess the last thing left is just for us to explore or discover some of these voices to give you an idea of what we're looking at. All right, so let's check some of these out. We're gonna turn our voice changer on and I wanna be able to hear. So I'm gonna turn that on and let's do Scout Boo. Hello. This is interesting. Just basically a little higher tone. Let's turn on megaphone. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hello. Oh, it has a little ghost in the background. We can adjust the pitch right here. A little up. And we can hear background noise. That's the ghost stuff. And we can turn this down or up. So we've got options, even within the voices. VX Pilot. Hello. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we could turn those background effects off. Boom. And now just hear the voice, and we could power it up. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This sounds incredible. We can make it high. Very nice voice. Let's try Battlefield Radio. Hello. So some radio sounds. We get the beeps over here. We can turn that off. We can also power it up. There we go. Adds a little more green to them. Very nice. These are much better quality-wise than version 2, in my opinion. Let's try Scrappy. Oh, there we go. So servos and background noise. We'll turn that off. There we go. Can you hear the voice? You can turn that off and ooh, power it up. Oh, nice. So almost every one of these voices gives you a bunch of different options to change it up a little. Really, really good stuff. Let's try a baby. That's one I would use for sure. Here's the baby voice. Oh, I like it. What's this one? Voice tune. So voice tune is supposed to be a singing one. So I guess I'll have to sing something. We're off to see the wizard. We can adjust the pitch. We're off to see the wizard. Add reverb, add voice tune to 100% or down below. Or we could even do rain and blood from a lacerated sky. You know, all the good stuff out there. Solid wholesome music let's see what hive mind sounds like this is the hive mind very cool this is the narrator voice i cannot believe how much higher quality this is than the other one version two was good this is amazing let's scroll down here because usually the female voices on the other one were horrible but Maybe they're better here. Let's try Karen. Oh, let's try Vicky. How about Vicky? Vicky's voice sounds like this. Let's try Jennifer. Hi, this is Jennifer's voice. Trap tune. Doctor Apocalypse. It's the doctor of apocalypse or something. This is Akari. <laughs> Space Trooper. The Demon. Very nice. That's pretty creepy. How about the infected narrator? The infected narrator. <laughs> the astral conqueror is here to conquer the astral or something like that. Hi, I'm Connie. It's nice to meet you, I think. Awesome oh, tea pain. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's try the ghost. ghost. Oh, creepy. Very nice. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go over here into our soundboard and just listen to some of this stuff. Six, seven. Let's go with voice mods. Wow, pretty cool stuff. So personally, I think that the quality of the voices in version three is leaps and bounds better than the quality of the voices in version two. Man, there is a lot to choose from and a lot of really, really cool stuff. And I just touched on the ones that they have in here. You also have all of the community ones. And if you're looking for voices of famous people, they replicate that sort of stuff too. I saw one for Donald Trump in here somewhere and I saw one for Barack Obama. So they do have voices that are an attempt to mimic famous voices and of course, course in the community you're gonna find probably a lot more of those as well I want to go ahead and show you how to add this into OBS or any application but first now I try really hard to try to create content that I think you're gonna enjoy sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss but honestly it's really hard to know for sure and that's where you can really help me out if you could just take a second and leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down to let me know how I'm doing I'm gonna know whether this is the kind of content that you want to see. Thanks a bunch, thumbs up or thumbs down right now. Let's get back to the video. Now to add this to OBS or any other application, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is click the plus. In this case, let's add a camera. We're gonna add a video capture device and we can just call it camera. Then I can just drop this down and select the camera that I want, of course. And I'm gonna go down here to the bottom as usual and use a custom audio device. Then we're gonna drop this down and we're gonna select which microphone we want. And in this case, the microphone that we want is the voice mod virtual audio device right here. So now when we add our voices, voice mod will come through. Now, if we wanted to do a scene like this one right here, where it just has audio from the game and it doesn't have any camera or anything we just wanted to add our voice we can click the plus we can go to audio input capture and just call this mic and click ok and then drop this down and select our microphone which of course once again in this case is the voice mod virtual audio device now you can add the voice mod virtual audio device in any application that accepts a microphone so you can add it in discord or zoom or anywhere else and use voice mod in any of those applications as well. It's really, really simple. Now I absolutely love version two and version three does take a little bit of getting used to, but I really do think it is an extremely good tool for changing your voice. And it's a lot of fun to use as well. You should definitely check it out. Now version two is still available, but of course you're gonna get a lot better results and voices on version three. The other thing that makes voice mod better, in my opinion, than pretty much everything else out there in the AI voice category is the fact that you can actually just buy it. One time payment and you're done. So if you didn't wanna to continue to use the free version, which has fewer voices and you wanted the full version, you can pay one time and own it. And that's pretty freaking awesome. So if you've been using version two and you haven't tried version three, definitely check it out. But that's just my opinion. You should let me know what you think about voice mod version three down in the comments below. Now, if you wanna add cool AR faces to the voices, you should check this video out right here. And if you're looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.